Hey everybody, today we're going to need a set of heavy dumbbells and a set of lighter dumbbells and your interval timer. Um, this workout will be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, five moves. We'll start with hammer curls, then move on to overhead tricep extensions. We'll do inchworm, plank rows, and then end with lateral raises. That's the one you're going to want the lighter weights for. Um, let's see. The video is only going to go through one circuit, so it'll be five minutes, but feel free to repeat it um, three to four times, depending on your specific goals, or maybe just survive the first round. So let's get after this. I've got my timer set. You'll be able to hear the beeps. Try to work through the whole 45 seconds, even if you're not going as fast as you did when you started, and breathe through it. Good luck. Let's see. <sighs> the timer and grab your heavy weights first for alternating hammer curls here we go Great job, make sure you keep your elbows in. Since it's hammer curls, your palms are facing towards your body, not towards the front like in regular bicep curls. Just a little bend in your knees, keep your back soft. There's the rest, 15 seconds rest. Put one of those weights down. We're going to do overhead extensions next. You can hold one end of the dumbbell in each arm. Take it overhead. Be sure to keep your elbows in and close to your face. Here we go. And then just push that weight overhead. I like to do a little split stance. Help support my back. Elbows together, not moving at the shoulders. Just extending through your elbow. Good. Exhale as you push that weight to the top. Starting to burn. And rest. Put this weight down. We'll do inchworms next, so make sure your weights are out of the way. And turn to the side so you can see me do the walkout. So you're just going to bend over, touch the floor, walk out to a plank, and then walk your feet up to your hands, stand up, turn around, do it again. Walk out, keep your abs pulled up, walk your feet to your hands. And around. Take tiny steps, really feel the stretch in your calves as you walk your toes up. Get up to the top of this one and then take a rest. Whew. Three rounds down, two to go. All right, get your heavy weights. We'll do plank rows next. So you're going to come down and get into plank position and then alternate pulling that weight up to your chest. Hard 
this one, I think. Here we go, last round is side raises, so I'm going down in weight on this one. It's for the top of your shoulders, here we go. 